So it's a glorious time of year here on Lake George. The trees are in full bloom. If we discount the nasty damage done by the caterpillars. But if you were paying close attention here when the episode opened, you may have noticed something different. And that different thing is a drone. Ta-da! Actually, this is the future of fireworks because they're starting to fly these in place of all those smoky, chemical-ridden fireworks shows. Got myself a drone, ladies and gentlemen. This ought to be interesting. Now, it's a fully registered drone, but I have not fully registered myself yet, so I can't fly it. As it turns out, this guy here has PAR 107 certificate. He will be today's pilot. See a little wiggling with the props? That means it's adjusting itself. All right. Now we gotta check the machine to make sure it's being seen. It's still connecting to the, the aircraft. Aircraft still not connected. We can see the camera. And it's now set. There Oh, isn't that sinister? All right. Well, fly down there a little ways. Ah, and we're getting to some lovely views of Lake George. All right, now I don't see it. Oh, I see it. Okay, good. There it is right there, looking at us menacingly. <laughs> Up it goes. Bye-bye, toy. By the way, it's not a toy. It's a serious <laughs> instrument, and we take this seriously. That's why we have a professional pilot here. Okay, and we're coming in for a nice safe landing. Same time, same place, same bat station. Ta-da. Excellent Smithers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got it back. Thanks once again to our Part 107 certified pilot here and a fully registered Mavic Air 2. We are flying safe and properly. Today we're uh, right smack in the middle of the 4th of July weekend means the lake is probably as crowded on this single day alone as it's going to get. Maybe a little bit tomorrow, but all the people from New Jersey got to bug out tomorrow, so it'll kind of calm them down midday. Anyway, we got some big time fun coming up. Guest captain of the moment is the spouse. Where are you taking us? I want to look at all the houses along here. The ah, yeah. House the spotting, avenue. or let's yes. say mansion spotting. That's a uh, a significant amount of uh, gardening going on there. Well, here's a pretty big fancy house. I can imagine these people had a lot of their relatives just invite themselves up for the July 4th weekend. I wonder how they feel about it. Well, they'll get their house back during the week. Oh, wait a second. Oh, I know this place. So yesterday we were going to take the young'uns here and have them jump off the cliff at uh, Cap's Pen. But they took one look at the cliff and decided not today. So we found a lower cliff. And that's going to take us up to Paradise Bay, the jewel of Lake George. But it's late, so it won't be coming. All right, we're at the entrance to Paradise Bay. And we can't anchor, so I gotta get out here and drag the boat back into the center of the part of the bay here. All right, it's time for fun and games at Paradise Bay. Here she goes. There's a little harbor island over there, and in about uh, two and a half weeks, we'll be camping over there. 
expect a long, tedious video of that. Well, we're back at the dock. Everybody's greatly relieved, as you can see, that I didn't crash this on a rock, you know. But <laughs> so we got to cover the boat, and then it's fireworks time. Oh wait, dinner first. Fourth of July dinner includes homemade French fries. Ain't that a treat? And out here in the Adirondack wilderness, we go for burgers. Ooh, that one's kind of funky looking. We'll live. Now my favorite moment of the night, the post-fireworks gauntlet. Of course in Bolton Landing that just means moving about 500 people out of the way. We're good. And a hearty morning after breakfast.